Hey guys, Jeff the Nature Guy here at Zoo Montana, and guess what? I've got a special guest today. This is Sam. Sam, you say hi to everybody? Hi. Nice. And Sam is my special buddy for the next four videos that you guys are going to watch. And we've got some cool things we've got to show you. In fact, so cool this guy is that he brought his own personal lizard for me to talk about. Who is this guy? Spike. And Spike is what now? A bearded dragon. A bearded dragon. And i got to tell you something, Sam. I love bearded dragons. They are so cool. And you know what I love about them? How they look? What are all these things? They look like spikes, don't they? Mm. But but are they really spikes? Do they, do they poke you? No, all they're there to do is to make him look a lot tougher than he really is. Now, not that Spike's not tough, that's not what I mean, but he likes to look a lot more dangerous than he really is, and those are actually kind of fake spikes, aren't they? Yeah, kind of cool. Now, the other thing I love about Bearded Dragon is I'm going to turn him real quick just so people with the camera can see something on him. Is they're called Bearded Dragons because they have this little beard underneath their body. And Sam, have you ever seen his beard turn black? Mm -hmm. You have. Yeah, because you know what happens is sometimes when a bearded dragon is upset about something or he's just not happy, that turns black. And what that does is that tells you, hey, man, I've had enough and I need to be left alone. And it usually happens in the wild if they're fighting with one another. That's when you got to worry about that. Now, the other cool thing about bearded dragon, because i got to tell you, did, did, did you know this? And I bet you your mom is, isn't going to like this very much, but i got to tell you something. You know bearded dragons? They're venomous. Yeah, you know what that means? It means that they have poison inside of them that if they bite, it goes in. But guess what? The good news is, I see the worry on your face. It doesn't affect you. I've got bit by him. You've got bit by him, and look at he's still here, alive, and moving around. The good news is, is it doesn't affect humans, but it does affect small animals. Because what do you feed this guy? Crickets. Crickets, exactly. And in the wild, they might even eat mice. And that venom, well, they can you know, kill the crickets and the mice, but you as a human, you don't have to worry about it. But cool animals, do you know where bearded dragons are from? Mm -mm. They're from Australia. And that's the cool thing about them is they're found kind of in the bushland of Australia. They're built for dry weather. And uh, do, you, do you love Spike? Mm -hmm. Yeah, is he one of your favorite pets you've ever had? Yeah, I love it when kids love reptiles because reptiles, they don't, they don't get the love out there. And to have somebody like you loving reptiles makes my day. High five. High five, Spike. Yeah. Hey, guys, I'm Jeff the Gator Guy. Until next time, I'll see you here at the zoo. Thanks, Sam.